Well, ladies and gentlemen, long time no see. Welcome to 2024 and my first video of 2024. I must say that last month or so has been one of the most problematic months I've ever had as a YouTuber and of course as a human being in on planet Earth. But I think the thing that we can all say is October F1 is back and hopefully with more content this year. But we have to start on a negative note because as the title suggests, it's Formula One and their problems. Three big problems that Formula One faces as of 2024. Now, of course, Formula One is one of those big sports that people do criticize and people do love. It's not everyone that loves it, but it's not everyone that criticizes it. Others have never even heard of Formula One. They don't even know what the hell it is. Others, when they see a picture of a Formula One car, they'll think it's some sort of future project or a toy car or something. But the ones that know it very well will know that this sport has got problems. And I mean, no sport is perfect, but no sport is supposed to have problems like this that I'm about to mention without wasting your time. And to begin with, it's the issue of money. This one is similar to what we face with in football, for example. Uh, this one isn't exactly as it is in football, money of a passion, but uh, it's slightly similar. And we know the effect that money has on the sporting industry because Formula One in the last few years has been going to places that are, you know, full of cash. Yeah, such as Miami, Saudi Arabia, Qatar. The list goes on. Those races where there's, you know, high ticket prices, races that offer a lot more money than others do and are kind of discarding the image of the sport which is you know history uh formula one has been existing for nearly 75 years now and the countries that originally started off as formula one grand prix were you know france germany i mean germany is no longer on the formula one calendar i don't know why because we've got mercedes on the grid i mean the joint title holder, Michael Schumacher, is from Germany. I mean, it's crazy how the historic races are not even on the calendar. And I mean, Germany has two great circuits, Hockenheimring and the Nürburgring. France, um, we won't really talk about France, but there's a lot more to that. And well, these races such as Miami, Saudi Arabia, almost mean nothing to everyone. Because I mean, the first, Two Saudi Arabian Grand Prix, 2021 and 22, were great. 2023, it's almost like it never even happened. Let's not talk about Miami. But Las Vegas, I think, was okay. The second point is too many races. This one, I think those that think in the bigger picture can agree because Formula One every single year is increasing the number of races. Let's talk about decades, for example. If we talk about the 2000s, there were about 18 races. If we talk about the 2010s, there was about 20 races. The 2020s could even have about 25. Because this year, 2024, we are going to have 24 races on the calendar. And let's not forget the sprint races, which could total up to about more than 30 races on the calendar uh, if we put aside uh, cancellations and other mysterious happenings. Um, the part for too many races, I mean, as a fan, it's great to see action 24 times a year, but on the team members, it's, it's, uh, it's abysmal. I mean, the overworking, the hours, I mean, triple headers, for example, are the worst part. I mean, you barely even get to sleep because you're always working on the cars. Those that are 
traveling, uh, moving of logistics, it's it's a nightmare. And I mean, it's crazy. It's very crazy moving. I mean, cargo, Formula One cars, paddocks. I mean, moving from Europe to Asia, to South America, to North America, just everywhere. But as you've probably heard, I've mentioned all those continents, excluding one. That brings me to my third point, which is the FIA Formula One World Championship. That is the full name, but it's called the FIA Formula One World Championship because it travels around the world. Not quite. I think for now, for the last 30 years, 31 years since the last Grand Prix in South Africa or just in Africa in general, it's been tough for the Africans, including myself. Yes, now you know. But it's not a world championship if this is no Africa. It doesn't make sense. I, as far as I know, uh, Africans uh, do love cars. Yes, they do. And uh, I don't know why we are not in Africa as a world championship. It doesn't really make sense. Uh, because we go to every continent, but why not South Africa? I mean, why not Africa? It, it doesn't make sense. There's so many places that Formula One goes to where nobody really gives, I mean, a damn about the sport. Uh, there are those countries that love money. They don't really care about the sport. They just come to see cars moving. Whereas those historic countries, like I mentioned in the first point, actually care about the history of the sport and South Africa is one of them. So it's a bit sad that Formula One isn't in that historical continent of Africa. I mean, it's where the lions come from, you know, a lot of things come from Africa. And I think Formula One deserves to be in Africa uh, because the African F1 audience is quite big. Trust me on that one. But yes, those are three big problems Formula One faces today, as of 2024. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please remember to smash that like button, share this video around to all your friends and everyone else. And if you want to see more content like this, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and see you next time.